Okay, here we have a standard example of a conditional statement as we've seen before. Just running through the code really quickly, on line number one, we create a variable called Joyce, which holds the number 10. On line two, we begin our conditional statement. If Joyce is greater than five, then print 100 to the terminal. And then we have our end statement, which closes the conditional. So what would happen if we run this code? Well, since Joyce is indeed greater than five, as it's 10, when we run the code, we should get 100 to the terminal. And indeed we do. Now what would happen if we changed line two to say, if Joyce is greater than 10, what would happen if we run the code now? So let's go ahead and see. As you can see, we do not get anything in the terminal. And this makes sense because line two says, if Joyce is greater than 10, Joyce is actually not greater than 10 because it is 10. For something to be greater than 10, it would have to be 11 or 10.1 or anything greater than 10. But 10 itself is not greater than 10. 10 is 10. And therefore, line 3 gets skipped over. Now, until this point, we've only been working with the greater than sign. But there are other options we can use. So, firstly, we can do the less than sign. So, if Joyce, we can say, is less than 10. Now, in this case, once again, when we hit the play button, we will not get anything in the terminal because Joyce is 10. It is not less than 10. But if we made the Joyce variable less than 10, so let's change this to 5, then line 3 does indeed get executed and therefore we get the number 100 to the terminal. Now what if we wanted to see whether Joyce is equal to 10? So not greater than 10, not less than 10. What if we wanted to check whether Joyce is actually 10? To do that, we would change this less than sign to a double equals sign. Note the double equals. This is how you say, if Joyce is actually 10, then do whatever. So in this case, if we hit the play button, we will not get 100 in the terminal because Joyce is not 10, Joyce is 5. However, if we change the Joyce variable to 10 and we run the code, we can then see the 100 get printed to the terminal. Now it's really important for me to emphasize that you need to do the double equals. A single equals in Ruby is exclusively for setting a variable, which is exactly what we're doing on line one, right? So Joyce equals 10. That means we are setting the Joyce variable and set it to hold the number 10. But equals equals is used when we are using a conditional statement to check whether something is equivalent to something else. So on line two, if Joyce double equals 10, then print 100 to the terminal. If you would actually mistakenly use a single equal sign, you actually would not get an error. Let's see what would happen. Instead of an error, we actually get a warning. As you can see, it says the warning is taking place on line two, and it says found single equals in conditional should be double equals. Yet the code still runs, but it won't necessarily run properly. So whenever you see that warning, make sure that you follow it and switch it back to the double equals, which is what it should be. So we're going to do that. Back to the double equals, run our code, and the warning is gone. Finally, I'll show you another interesting trick, which is that we can do as follows. If you do the greater sign equals sign together, so greater equals, that means, in this case, if Joyce is greater or equal to 10. So it could be 10, it could be more than 10. In either case, line 3 would be executed. Let's go ahead and see that. So since on line 2 it says, if Joyce is greater or equals to 10, since Joyce is 10, line 3 gets executed and the number 100 gets printed to the terminal. Similarly, if we made Joyce 11, 100 would still get printed to the terminal. However, if we made Joyce 9, that's the point where Joyce is not greater or equals to 10, and therefore line 3 gets skipped over. Similarly, we can do less than or equal to. So in this case, since Joyce is 9, so then Joyce is indeed less than or equal to 10, and therefore line 3 gets executed. Similarly, if we change Joyce to 10, Still, line 3 gets executed because Joyce is less than or equal to 10 because it is 10. However, if we made Joyce 11, that's when line 3 would get skipped over. 
So now you've learned various ways of forming conditional statements.